Well, there is an event taking place this weekend to benefit animals in Oakland County. Susan's Florists and Gifts is making its one year anniversary with a fundraiser for Canine Companions Rescue Center. What a fun idea for a party. Joining us this morning, Susan Markle and Brittany Lawler and Snooky. <laughs> What up? Oh, Snooky knows her name. She does. <laughs> well, we've got two of you here. So, Susan, you're with, um, it, it's your florist, mm -hmm. your flower shop. What made you decide to use your one-year anniversary as a fundraiser? Um, I just love dogs. I've had dogs all my life, and um, the dog I have right now is a rescue. Uh, he's about a four-pound chihuahua, and um, they're just, it's, I mean, how could you not love dogs? Yeah. And That's Brittany, what it's all about. It is, and Brittany, you've got Snooky with you, I and do. Snooky is a rescue. Yes, she is actually my foster. So a big part of what we do with Canine Companions is collaborate with other rescues um, to be able to best use our resources together. So Snooky actually um, came off of the streets of Detroit. Detroit pit crew um, pulled her, and she was very emaciated. She had demodetic mange, and she was essentially on the brink of death. Wow. Um, so she was pulled actually back close to Thanksgiving, and she has been recovering ever since then. Um, she had no fur. She was uh, very oh. scabbed up and in and, and a lot of pain for her first couple of months, but now she's made pretty much a full recovery, and she's just about ready to go up for adoption. So. Wow. And how is she with people? Because after, you know, kind of living the life she had, mm -hmm. she, is she skittish? She's actually done really, really well. Um, the way I described it is she doesn't even really know anything was ever wrong with her. She lives in my house with two other dogs. Um, she's been around kids a lot. She's very affectionate. She's a companion dog. So she yeah. loves to snuggle up with you. Um, she likes to cuddle. Aww. She's very trainable, super sweet. So it's just amazing to kind of see, you know, where she came from um, and, and the the recovery that she's made yeah. and really speaks to you know the donations we get from events um, like for the love of dogs that we're doing this weekend and how it helps us do this type of work for yeah. all kinds of different dogs absolutely and Susan you've got flowers all over your shop so how is that gonna work with the dogs and how many dogs are gonna be there um, well we're hoping a lot of dogs um, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm used to having dogs in I um, babysit my um, ex-husband's Great Dane comes and stays with us and my sister and her um, boyfriend's um, St. Bernard. So um, my store I'm is very do dog friendly where <laughs> things are up off the ground because they toss right, I stuffed know. animals everywhere. <laughs> oh yes, my dog so. would, uh, would do a number on those stuffed animals, that's for sure. Well, really cool. So the event today from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. and it's called For the Love of Dogs. It's at Susan's Florist and Gifts in Waterford again today from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. tomorrow from noon until three and once again it benefits canine companions rescue center thank you ladies so much we so appreciate you being here thank and you. uh definitely nice to be inside and <laughs> nice and toasty warm because things could be a little chilly <laughs> <laughs> that's right thank you ladies